Hey guys and welcome to Bushcraft and Wild Edibles in Central Wisconsin. My name is Mark. Thanks for joining me. And happy 4th of July to everyone. Uh, today we're going to be, uh, as you can see, we have uh, an urban campsite set up here. and We have friends and family and neighbors over for tonight for the big fireworks. So, without further ado, I wanted to do some uh, little chat here. This is actually uh, Lonnie's idea from... Uh, Far North Bushcraft and Survival. If you guys haven't checked his channel out, he has an awesome channel. Him and his wife do awesome things up in Alaska. And that is our hot tent that I thought it was a pretty cool idea to make a teepee. So I tried it out. It works really well. Me and Hunter uh, stayed out there last night. He got down into the, uh, I don't know, upper, upper 40s, 50s last night. And everybody was cold and we're nice and snuggled up in there. It was great. It's like a hot tent. I want to do, uh, I was tagged by uh, Dawn in Southpaw Bushcraft on When I Knew. And it's a very funny story and I will get to that later. It's not a funny story, but I will get to it later. First of all, guys, I wanted to show you some of the things that Dawn gave us. This is a Gerber's pyramid of an EDC. Uh, she gave this to me and Dawn as gifts. She gave Dawn the same thing. This flashlight, guys, is awesome. Twist, it's on. Hit the button, and it works that way too. at 60 lumens. The knife I really am enjoying. I have carry it all the time now with me. Um, and it's a really nice, solid knife. So, uh, thanks a lot, Dawn. I appreciate it. Great gift. And then, I want to talk about a little bit about our, our uh, weekend up there. Um, I got to try out the Archer one person tent and it's amazing with the tent and tarp setup that I had I was able to withstand a very strong storm um, it poured from about 10 o'clock until 1 30 thunder lightning and high winds and I had no problems in that tent whatsoever so I want to thank Mike and Paul from Archer Outdoors but my real thing for this video is to talk about Dawn from Southpaw Bushcraft. Guys, I never met somebody that is so um, intelligent how she talks about stuff. She does She does her research. She does, um, she's a very wonderful person and she gives her 100% behind anything. This woman literally stripped a, I want to say it's probably 200 feet of property that was full of solid stumps by hand with a come along and a truck. So if that tells you the willpower of someone, that's hard work. She does everything logical. She's very funny. She's caring. Um, I had such a wonderful time up there. Ever since we've been back, the family's like, oh, I miss Dawn. I want to go back up by Dawn and go camping. It was such a pleasant time up there, guys. If you have that opportunity to get along and get with another fellow bushcrafter, I highly advise it because it's worth it. Um, it was a blast. So, Dawn is A-OK. -okay. She is 100% uh, bushcrafter. Uh, she is a 100% great person and she has a loving, caring heart. And she's out here to help out everybody. And uh, that is awesome. So, she tagged me in when I knew question was is when did I know that there was the woods was a part of me well that story starts my childhood and it started when I was three and I was put into a playpen in the center of a circle with my grandparents owned a motel a bunch of trees and in the shade and then I was allowed to play in that area while they were busy cleaning when I was old enough to get out of that, the first place I could see was the woods. So I went there, and I've been hooked ever since. And they would literally have to come out and find me because I'd be gone. Um, one time I actually went and got into a cornfield, and they thought I was lost, but I told them I, was, I could have been more than three, maybe four years old. I hide, I hide. And uh, they weren't too impressed with that one. But, uh, 
the woods has always been a part of me. I can't get to that property anymore. We don't own that. We sold that. So I wanted to actually go out there and do it out there, but we can't do that anymore. So, guys, I knew when I was uh, very young, probably uh, kind of like Hunter is now. Uh, but it really didn't start to hit me until into my teens when all I wanted to do was spend time out in the woods. I was younger, his age, building forts playing with my dog out in the woods, but then as I got older and I could see the glory, the peace, and God's creation out in the woods, that's when I totally knew that it had to be a part of my life. And it's a very peaceful place, everything is clean, and it's it's left that way around here in a lot of places. It's a very, very nice place to be in. When I left for the service, did some of my survival training, I also learned real quick that you could go and clean your mind, or clear your mind and your head as soon as you walk into the woods, and it didn't matter where it was. So that told me right there that this is going to be a big part of my life, and it always has been ever since. So guys, I just wanted to get this video off for Don and uh, the tag. So I guess since she tagged me. I gotta tag somebody else. Whoop. And I'm going to tag my good Bentley or good buddy Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. I don't know if he did this yet or not, but Bentley, you're officially tagged. When did you know? So you guys take care. God bless and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.